Mulchers, plows, ridge makers, and seeders are all needed to get your brand new crops, carrots, red beets, and parsnips up to max yield here in the premium expansion for Farming Simulator 22. What if I told you you could do all four things in one pass? How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today I'm going to show you exactly how you're going to be able to do that only using three pieces of equipment. Two of them are here in the base expansion right here. This is the Grimy, and you've got the Cavernland Nova Air right here. Now, these two absolutely can connect together using a three-point option that you have here on the Ridge Maker. The key to this right here is going to be this mod here. This is the SP10M. This is by Ridiculous Dominic. And guys, it not only plows, it also mulches. And to find this mod, the easiest way is to go down to your mods and DLCs. Come over to your SP10M. When you click on it, you've got two options. With this setup right here, you really only need the one that goes nine miles an hour. The Unreal, yeah, it goes 24, but you're honestly never going to use it. The most important part of this is adding the function of the mulcher here under configurations. When you first come in here, it's standard. Come across mulcher. It adds $0 for you right here. Your main color, you could make this anything you like. And then here on your design color, you could do the exact same thing. This setup is actually pretty simple to put together. All you need to do is back up to your Ridge Baker right here. Go ahead and attach it. Then you need to actually lower it down and then back up to your cedar right there. Boom. There you go. We'll attach it to. Then all we're going to do now is drive forward until we get up to our plow. And then we're going to attach it really, really easy. Now, with this setup right here, you need to leave your plow at three meters wide. That's what it starts as. And that's what you need to leave it as. All right. Now, all you got to do, go ahead, lower it down. And then you're going to be able to start going forward. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just hit the gas right here up till I get here to the edge of the field. When I get right there, I'm going to toggle back to my Ridge maker. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And then I'm just going to go and turn on my cedar as well. So now everything is active. I'm taking a look here at the map because I want to show you guys that this entire field does not have any mulching done to it. Also, it needs plowing completely and there is no fertilizer anywhere on this field. Now, all we have to do is just go ahead and start driving. As you can see that it's going to do the plowing status. It's actually getting a mulching. I don't know if you can see there in the front of it. You can kind of see every once in a while that crop is just going to get taken down. If I go really slow here, you can see it's changing color in front. That's the actual mulching function. All right. So whenever you're using this uh, plow here in the front, you need to make sure that your spikes are facing forward. That is getting you the mulching function. If you have it turned around the other way, this will not mulch for you. So you have to have it that way right there. I'm going to go and lower this thing back down into the ground. And then your ridge maker here, you can see that it's as it's making those ridges, it's a little bit lighter color. And then whenever you get to the seating, it actually turns the, the dirt just a little bit darker color. So we're going to keep going here. I'm able to go six miles an hour because that is the working speed on the slowest piece of equipment that I have. And if I take a look at my map now, if I come over here to mulch, you can see that we do have a mulch status on this area that we've already done. Then I also go to needs plowing. That is already taken care of for me as well. And then fertilizer. Yep. After the seeds are put into the ground when making ridges, you get your fertilization status. Now this setup works really, really well if you're doing the work by yourself. But unfortunately, it doesn't really work that great if you hire a worker. And let me show you what I mean here. So hire a worker, it's automatically going to extend your plow out to 12 meters. Now, this is a great benefit of this plow, but unfortunately, it's not going to work for you because when the worker gets down to the other end, they're actually going to plow back up what you have already uh, made ridges on and put seeds in the ground. So this setup right here only works if you're doing the work yourself. Do not use this setup if you are going to use workers. Now, I do know there are other cultivators, front mounted ones in the mod hub. I'm not going to go and list those right here because then that would only be doing three things at once. You wouldn't be getting your mulching status. If you enjoyed the video, learned something today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my future testing videos here, take a look at the premium expansion. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too. Now, I wonder what is the most profitable crop? Carrots, red beets, or parsnips?